Did you know that there are paintings from Roman Egypt that are so realistic that although they were painted after the subject was deceased, when Flinders Petrie found them, he thought they must have been alive during the painting. Hello and welcome to World History Encyclopedia. My name is Kelly and today's video is all about ancient portraits that are so incredible that they almost look like photographs. Today's video is all about the Fayum mummy portraits from ancient Egypt. Don't forget, the easiest way to support us is by giving this video a thumbs up, subscribing to our channel, and hitting that bell icon for notifications so you don't miss out on any new uploads. World History Encyclopedia is a non-profit organization and you can find us on Patreon, a brilliant site where you can support our work and receive exclusive benefits in return. Your support helps us create videos twice a week. So make sure to check it out via the pop-up in the top corner of the screen or via the Patreon link down below. The region of Fayum in ancient Egypt was a fertile oasis, which was home to abundant plant and animal life. This lush oasis around 100 kilometers south of the ancient city of Memphis, near modern day Cairo, wasn't always so full of plant and animal life, but was once an arid desert basin until a branch of the Nile River silted up and water was diverted to it. With the basin nice and full, wildlife were attracted, plant life grew, and then at some point prior to circa 7200 BCE, humans were drawn to the site. The site, now known as Medinet El Fayum, was, in ancient times, an area with a number of large and prosperous cities and villages. And the name Fayum comes from the ancient Egyptian word meaning the lake or the sea, Pa Yum. The area was at its most prosperous in the Middle Kingdom of Egypt but declined during the Third Intermediate Period of Egypt, after the New Kingdom. That wasn't the end of Fayum, though. It made a comeback during the Ptolemaic and Roman periods of Egypt. And it is during these later periods of Egyptian history when the beautiful mummy masks were created. The Fayum mummy portraits were unearthed between circa 1898 and 1899 CE by the Egyptologist Flinders Petrie, though others had been found elsewhere earlier. And they were so impressive, expressive and lifelike that Flinders Petrie thought that the subjects must have been alive when they were painted. However, it is clear now that this was not so. They were all painted after the person's death. The Fayum mummy portraits are images of people painted on wood in the Greek style of the person being depicted in three-quarter view. Being depicted on a natural material like wood, these kinds of artifacts are usually ones that would be lost to time. However, they were wonderfully preserved due to the arid climate of Egypt, and they display exceptional craftsmanship of a Greek painting technique. So, they really do display the multicultural and multi-ethnic culture of Roman Egypt. Although many of the portraits depict people dressed in classical Roman garb, they often had Greek names while also clearly representing the afterlife beliefs of the ancient Egyptians. The scholarly consensus on dating for the beginning of the mummy portraits is between 30 and 40 CE. And it is clear that portraits done at different periods show stylistic differences. The wooden panels would have been placed on the mummy of the deceased and then held there with some of the outermost wrappings. Many of the surviving panels show the common jewellery, clothing and hairstyles that were popular in the Roman Empire at the time. And these mummy portraits would have been for the elite members of the community. The wealth depicted on the subjects show not only the personal wealth of the elite community, but also the wealth and prosperity of the region, which is also reflected in the existence of such incredible craftsmanship. Numerous techniques were used in the creation of these pieces, with one being called encaustic, which in Greek means burnt in. But heat isn't actually necessary to achieve this effect in art. So now it means a method of painting that has beeswax mixed with the pigment. It is in the encaustic mummy paintings where gold leaf is used, sometimes to highlight a piece of jewellery or even the entire background. 
The other technique is tempera, where animal glue or a water-soluble binding agent is mixed with pigments, which results in a matte finish, in contrast to the glossy finish of the encaustic portraits. Although encaustic paintings are generally regarded as being of higher quality, the works in tempera are also impressive, reflecting the craftsmanship of some of the greatest artists of Roman Egypt. Their names are unknown, but their work continues to fascinate people around the world in the modern age. Can you think of any modern paintings or artworks that are equally as realistic as the Fayum mummy portraits? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our new videos every Tuesday and Friday. This video was brought to you by World History Encyclopedia. For more great articles and interactive content, head to our website via the link below. If you like my sweater, you can find this design and a bunch more in our shop at worldhistory.store or you can find a link for it down below. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you soon with another video.